Hello, my name is Jorge Barrero, and in this video I'm going to go over the uh, you know, really quick overview of how to add uh, HDRI images, uh, how to use HDRI images for your lighting in the scene as opposed to the V-Ray physical sun and physical sky. I am going to use this scene that has a uh, basic V-Ray infinite plane and a chair as you've seen before if you've seen the other videos. I'm going to bring up the render options in SketchUp. I'm going to bring up the render options uh, for V-Ray for SketchUp. And one of the things that uh, we're going to look at here in the environment is uh, GI is currently set for the V-Ray physical sun and physical sky. And we're actually going to have to change that. And that's essentially where you place the HDRI images. So for now, I'm going to click on the capital M here. And on the V-Ray Texture Editor, the type is set to Sky. Uh, so when we render, that's what we'll see. But instead of Sky, I'm going to switch that to a bitmap. Then, under the bitmap, I'm going to select my HDRI. Hit open. The other thing that I have to do is I have to tell V-Ray how to map that uh, HDRI. In this case, I want it uh, as an environment, and I have to specify which type of mapping I want. Uh, I know ahead of time this HDRI is a spherical uh, type of mapping, so that's what I'm going to select. Um, I can click Update to give me a preview of my HDRI. Hit Apply. And the other thing is, I'm going to have to do that same thing to the background. Otherwise, only the lighting is going to be coming from my GI. But the background is still going to be, in this case, my sky. So if I want to match those two, I'm going to switch this background sky to also bitmap. Click uh, the bitmap uh, option, select my HDR. And also change the environment mapping to spherical. Hit apply and now these two are set to go so when I hit render let's see what we get here we go so you can see right away uh, my chair which has a chrome material attached to it is reflecting the HDRI and also um, I have the V-Ray infinite plane on the, on the ground. Now one thing that's uh, important here within this image to note is the fact that it seems kind of dark. Uh, it's actually because the camera that's set up is still the physical camera. You, typically when I work with HDR images I usually like to turn the physical camera off because we're not really dealing with a physical sun or sky um, so now I can hit render again and check the results. If the image is too bright or too dark at this point, it doesn't become an issue of me adjusting the shutter speed or something like that within the ver uh, within the V-Ray physical camera. Rather, a um, becomes uh, an adjustment of the multiplier of the HDRI itself. And here you can see how now, by turning off the very physical camera, the uh, exposure is uh, different. Obviously the rendering is a lot brighter. Uh, it's driven now by the multiplier of the HDRI image, and uh, we get a much brighter, nicer rendering. So if we go back to the environment and take a look at our HDRI image one more time, uh, a couple things to note here are on the environment, you can adjust the rotation of the image if you want to see different part of it on the background. Uh, also if you want to mirror uh, that, uh, that image. And then uh, for the background itself, you, right now it looks like it's being blurred a little bit by default. Um, that usually works pretty good for reflections, just keep that in mind as well. Here, if you feel like your HDRI is too bright, 
or is too dark you can adjust this multiplier to make those adjustments um, if I take this down to let's say 0.7 apply and we render you can see now the, um, the rendering seems a little bit darker uh, than before uh, which I would have expected taking that uh, multiplier down but uh, again you, know, you can depending on the HDRI that you're using you will have to adjust that uh, that number accordingly